Welcome to Man in the Street. Today I'm talking with a guy that many would consider a guitar god. He plays a heavy blues rock guitar style and has been influential to other guitar players for over 40 years. He's best known for his time with Mitch Ryder and the Detroit Wheels, but he's also played with bands like Cactus, the Buddy Miles Express, the Rockets, the Detroit Blues Band, and Mystery Train. It's Mr. Jim McCarty. Jim, thank you for joining me today on Man in the Street. How are you? Hey, Jamie. Nice to see you. I'm doing good, man. I had a great holiday. Jim, I like to talk about old music venues in this town. And when you were coming up in the 60s, you were a part of the house band of a place in downtown Detroit called The Village. Uh, this was a place where they would bring in all the big jazz and blues acts, and you guys were the warm-up band. And I believe that's the place where you first met Mitch Ryder. So tell me, what was it like to be in that situation in the 60s at that time, and what was the atmosphere at the village like? Ah, uh, the village. Those were the days. Yeah, it was an amazing scene. We were all youngsters, uh, you know, just young kids kind of learning the ropes, and that was a hell of an education. We were the house band, actually. We backed up all the acts that came. It was like a review. There would be uh, half a dozen acts. Everybody do two, maybe three songs. And uh, one night, uh, a guy named Billy Lee came down. And uh, we backed him up. He sang a few tunes. And uh, there was an immediate connection there. Everybody knew we should get together again and uh, explore this. And that's what we did. And eventually, the band became Mitch Ryder and the Detroit Wheels. And the rest is history. You're such an incredible guitar player, but a lot of people probably don't know you started on drums. Your dad was a big band drummer, and then you moved over to guitar. You've played different brands of guitar over the years. You've played Gresh, Birdland, your favorite Les Paul, and Stratocasters. Tell me, how were you inspired to play these different brands of guitars? Yeah, uh, there's been, there was more than one guitar back in the day but the last 20 years it's been the Les Paul I really don't uh, bother with anything else at this point that guitar is just home for me but we used to go to a Stratocaster every now and then I play a Telecaster back in the 70s I had a a 73 Telecaster that uh, had a hell of a sound but for me basically it's 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 the Gibson Les Paul it always has been it's just the humbucking pickups plugged into a Fender amplifier and I'm off and running. So there's really not, these days, there's really not uh, much uh, going to any other guitar. The Les Paul is the one for me. You have some new music coming out. Give us the details on that. Yeah, I'm very excited about the acoustic CD. Uh, during the pandemic, I played very little electric guitar. I played the acoustic. And then last summer, uh, summer of 2021, I recorded a couple of the ideas that I had. And I was knocked out so much by uh, the sound of that old Gibson Dove that I decided to do an entire uh, album of acoustic music. And it came out just lovely. Uh, we're in the process of doing the graphics for it right now. And it should be out, I would think, somewhere around March. But I'm very pleased about this because it's a side of me that nobody's ever really heard. So um, I'm looking forward to getting out there. As we head out of the interview, I have to ask you this question. I know you've been friends with Uncle Ted Nugent for many years, and he once said, remember the name Jim McCarty. He is as important as Bo Diddley, Chuck Berry, and Les Paul. How does that make you feel? Oh, Uncle Ted. Yeah, Ted uh, has been a big uh, fan for a good number of years, all of our lives, really. Uh, Mitch Ryan and Troy Wills is... is Ted's all-time favorite band. That was the band that inspired him uh, to do what he does. And so, but occasionally, he, uh, you know, a statement like that, uh, he, t Ted t can go overboard. Uh, I'm glad that he thinks I'm important, but I think Chuck Berry may be a tad more important. But uh, thank you anyway, Ted. I want to thank Jim McCarty for joining me today A Man on the Street. And people, please go to his Facebook page and like it. It's Jim McCarty Musician. And you can message him there to grab his music. 
And you can also get his music if you email him at jimmccarty3 at gmail.com or at cdbaby. And we'll see you next time on Man on the Street because everybody has something to say, so let's listen. Take care, everyone.